everybody. It's me, Sandy Sandler, and I want to welcome you to our Monday Facebook Live. Today we're going to be making some really cool bows, hair bows, like JoJo bows, uh, boutique bows. So I'm going to go through a whole bunch of styles for you. First, I want to just send my prayers out to everybody on the East Coast and those of you in the Bahamas who are dealing with this horrible Hurricane Dorian. So scary, so please stay safe. Um, and now I'm going to get started making some bows. So what I've already done is I have this really pretty like mermaid ribbon and um and terry i just sent you a link to where you can put up um where we can purchase this mermaid link ribbon and um what i'm doing what i've done here is i've made my own ribbon so i took some of our bodabra mesh this is the rhinestone mesh and i took a one and a half inch wide white ribbon and i used my peel and stick which i'm going to do here to finish up this ribbon and oh hi jill hi regina hi edna you guys thank you so much for joining me and also please don't forget to share anybody who's got a granddaughter or children cheerleaders we are going to make a cheer bow um that would like to not spend a fortune on their bows edna thank you for sharing and jules hi um, anyway, so please share, and if you're watching on YouTube, please click the subscribe button. And also, if you're watching the replay, please watch the replay, because we're going to be picking the next replay winner on the 15th of September. So, okay, that's all the housekeeping. Let's get back to making bows. So anyway, I made this ribbon, and um, what I've done is I've cut, let me put this aside, I've cut this piece of ribbon to uh, 45 inches and I've dug till the end and then I took 45 inches also of my rhinestone mesh to make this ribbon. Then I've, I'm taking my peel and stick and putting it on my mermaid ribbon and I'm going to just like run this down the center because this is such a great trick to make your own ribbon. So I'm going to just clip this here and then um, I'm going to take my peel and stick and I've got it all the way down my mermaid ribbon and I'm just going to pull it off. And what I love is you can't see it, but it's right there. Then what I'm going to do is throw this all away. Sorry guys, I'm still here. And now I'm going to take this rhinestone ribbon that I made by putting the rhinestones on the white so we're gonna make this really pretty and super like elegant one of a kind ribbon. Hi, Le oh, Lena, I mean, Charlena and Lena is here. Okay, you guys, I have to tell you something so, so, so special. I got a Google alert and there was a young, young lady in Augusta, Georgia. And how old is Lena? Is she 13, am I right? Or I might be wrong. So Charlena, please let us know. But she couldn't her mom wouldn't let her buy a jojo bow because they were too expensive so for christmas lena got a bow dabra and i'm so proud of her and she actually started a hair bow business selling making her own hair bows but selling it to her friends at school so that is so super cool lena and i am so super proud of you so now and then this is a cool thing is how i made my own ribbon just using my peel and stick so we're gonna now get started. So just in case you guys forgot, I've got 45 inches of this ribbon. So now I'm gonna make um, a hair bow. I'm actually, um, now, so I'm gonna twist it and scrunch that into my mini bodabra. And I'm just measuring it to the corners. And we're gonna fold this. So now you guys, please put, I want to win in the thing if you want to win a free roll of our bodabra scrunchy ribbon so as you can probably tell this has become a very very thick ribbon so i'm just trying to twist it and scrunch everything and it doesn't want to go into my mini i may have to use oh no there we go okay i wasn't going to give up that quickly so now i'm going to just fold this back over so this is sort of a take it wouldn't be exactly a jojo bow it's how you would make a jojo bow. So 
Now I'm going to twist this back, and you can also do this in the regular Bodabra. Hi, Shirley and Elizabeth. Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. So we're just going to twist that down. And this is very thick, so I'm so glad we're on our last loop. So I'm just going to make a little kind of mountain in the center. And you guys will not believe what I just did. So we're going to do this over again because I forgot to put my Bodabra bow. I forgot to put my Bodabra bow wire. I was too busy making this beautiful ribbon that I forgot to put the Bodabra bow wire into it. Elizabeth and hi. And so now you guys, I'm going to, I'm actually going to cheat and take that out. Um, so I'm going to now put my Bodabra bow wire in. And since I've already got the creases where I measured it before, I can take it out because I think this is just a little bit thick to make with it. So I'm going to fold it back over. And if you didn't see how I made this ribbon by, so, by gluing or using my peel and stick to put the three ribbons together, all you have to do is rewind and watch the replay and scratch this back down. But I wanted to show you guys some super simple other ways to make a take on a Jojo bow. So now, and Lena, I mean Lena, um, Caitlin <laughs> is, is 12 years old and she's filming today. So make sure everybody says hi to Caitlin. And so now I'm going to pull it tight out of my bow, mini Bodabra. I'm going to separate the ends. And I know, Gail, anybody that uses Bodabra long enough makes something and realizes they forgot to put the wire in. So now I'm just going to shape out my loops. And... I need to just dovetail the ends of this one. So to dovetail, I'm just gonna fold it in half and just cut from the corner, if I can, over the rhinestones. There we go, and I missed this one little piece, so I'll just cheat on that one. And this really simple hair bow, super, super, hi, Brenda. Hi. Super, and Caitlin just said hi. Super, super simple to make and so pretty. And you would pay easily in a store 20 bucks for this ribbon. So I'm going to take this one and put it aside. And we're going to make another very similar. Now, uh, what I didn't do was tie it onto a ponytail holder, but you can definitely just take a ponytail holder and tie it on. I think I double knotted it, but I'm letting Caitlin take this bow home with her. So I just want to make sure everything is tied tight. So one more real quick look, and I'm going to put that aside. Gail, thank you. I know, I just thought the rhinestone would add a cool touch. So now we're going to make a cheer bow. And um, so I'm going to take some of my Bodabra bow wire, and I'm going to just fold this in half. And I'm going to... So hey, you guys, thanks everybody who shared. And please, if you wouldn't mind sharing with your friends, because as I always say, you guys are my marketing department. So every time it, you share, it really helps me to keep these lives going. So thank you very much. So now I have this great patriotic, so I mean, happy Labor Day to everybody. Um, the red with the stars and the blue with the stars. And I cut each piece 14 inches and just dovetailed the ends. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the wrong side and just scrunch this into my mini Bodabra, bring it back over, scrunch it in, and now I have my one loop. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I'm going to take the wrong side of the ribbon and put that upside down. And now it's, I'm going to fold this back over here and just do what we call our little mountain up and scrunch that in and then take my wand and really give everything a good scrunch down and bring my wire up, pull it through my slip knot. Oh, Tammy, 
thank you for noticing my hat. Crystal, you want to show everybody my hat? Crystal Donnelly, a friend and one of our Bodabra designers, just amazing lady and very talented. She actually painted this picture of Vivi on the hat and then made a little bow with Bodabra. So it's like my favorite hat. I love it. And those of you who know me know I wear a lot of hats. So now I'm going to just tie a knot here. And of course, I just realized I forgot to turn this light on. So let me turn it on. Oh uh, boy. Okay, there we go. I think that'll make everything a little easier. And then while I'm up, I'm just gonna pull this in here. Pull my other bow. Because I'm working, I'm not at home right now. So everything's a little awkward for me. So now I'm just gonna take this, and again, I'll tie this onto a ponytail holder later. But what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take some of my little rhinestones here and let's just add a few little rhinestones onto my bow just to give it a little flare and I better add the same size rhinestones over here and put another one there and if you want, you could hot glue them on here. And I'm just gonna cut this little piece here so we don't see it. Oops. And there you have a really super, super simple to make cheer bow. Thank you, Edna and Cindy, thank you. Thank you guys, everybody for watching tonight. It just means so much. And I had a really awful week. My car broke down and I think it's dead. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be worth fixing it. So anyway, I just thought I would share. And I still have to get back from Colorado to Las Vegas. So everybody say a little car prayer for me. So now I'm gonna take some more Bodabra bow wire. I'm gonna fold it in half. We're gonna make another um, here, okay, so we'll fold that in half, lay it down into my mini bodabra, and let's see what we've got here. So I was just playing putting stuff together today. So I'm going to take this ribbon here, or was that what, no, I'm not, hold on. I've got this ribbon here, which is 14 inches. I'm just going to fold it in half and lay that down into my bodabra. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm just taking scraps. So this is 10 inches. I'm just gonna lay this down in here. So this is a great way to use up the scraps that you have that you maybe didn't have enough on the roll. And then I'm gonna take this ribbon and I've got 19 inches here. And so I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm just gonna take the center and put it in here. Then I'm gonna fold this over. I know, Edna, it's really sad because my car is a 2005. I love it, but it has 130,000 miles on it and it just decided it didn't wanna drive anymore. It was time to go to retirement. So I'm gonna take the right side, put that down in here, and then take the bottom. As you can see, we have a little X here Take the bottom loop and I'm gonna do my little mountain up there and do this same thing with the top loop and just make sure they're even there. And then take my Bodabra bow wire, pull it through my slip knot and separate the ends, bring it around to the back. So it's just a great way to mix and match ribbon that you have laying around. So, and then I'll tie a knot. And again, I'm going to leave this to tie onto a hair bow. So I'm just going to scooch everything behind here. And whoopsie. Oh, yay, yay. Okay, so I'm just going to twist it, twist this, twist this. And now you have this really super simple. Easy. Hi, Jeannie Adams, Jeannie Just, and Tammy. Thank you, and Cindy. You guys, thank you so much for joining me and for everybody who shared. 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So now I'm going to put this bow aside and put that one aside. Oh, okay. So now we're actually going to use the big bow dabra because I don't want the big bow dabra to feel lonely. So, and we're going to make another really cute hair bow. And so I'm going to take my silver bow wire, fold it in half and just lay this down into my bodabra. Then I have this piece that is 18 inches, but I cut the ends at a diagonal. So I'm just gonna fold it in half because this is gonna be my tail and just scrunch that into my bodabra. Now, I'm gonna take this piece, which is 23 inches long, and I'm just going to um, scrunch it in bring it back around here and scrunch it in. So you're gonna have the little tails also there. And then I have this cute little bow there. Then, what, sweetie? The question. Oh, okay, what's the question? You can read it, you, don't, you can read them to me, Caitlin. All right. Okay, so how do you add the clip? Okay, Dale, I will add a clip for the hair bow on this bow so you can see. So then I have this piece of really pretty funky ribbon that's one and a half inches wide by um, 11 inches long. And again, I'm gonna make this bow exactly the same way. I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon and put that down. And then again, come back and take the right side and scrunch that in. And then I'm gonna just scrunch everything. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. This ribbon's the same size. Scrunch this in. And then we're gonna scrunch that in there. And then I have this really cool corker ribbon that I buy already corkered so it saves a lot of time and it's not expensive at all. So lay those down in there and then take my wand and give everything a really good scrunch here. Then take my Bodabra bow wire and pull it through the slip knot and pull it tight while it's still in my bodabra. I'm gonna pull it out, separate the ends, bring it around to the back, and I'm gonna tie a knot. And now I'm gonna double knot it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, this clip here, because for a bow that's this big, you probably would want a clip or a, I think this would really be a ponytail holder, but I'm gonna tie the clip on so you can see how I do it. So I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go through this hoop with the one, with my one wire and through the other one this way because I want this side to be against the bodabra. And so now that brings my clip on, but then to be super, super like OCD about it. I'm then gonna bring it, this one, let's get this to where you can see it, through here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over on this one here. I'm gonna bring it underneath. And Caitlin is doing a really good job trying to get the tripod at an angle so that you guys can see what we're doing. Bring that through here. Where do you get your corker ribbons? The corker ribbon, um, I believe we have, Terry can give you a link for that, um, for where I purchase it. So I think that Bo Dabra will put one up in just a sec. So then now I'm just gonna bring this over here and tie a knot. And double knot it. And that's gonna keep your your hair bow real, I mean your clip, very tight on the bow. And so now we'll just shape our bow, bring the tails down. So Dale, I hope that was helpful. And there you have your cute, super simple little hair clip. Oh, school starts where you guys see here in Colorado where I am right now, they already started school. Okay, so now let's move some of these. We're gonna make a different bow. What I love about Bow Dabber, like I've always said, 
is how you can use all the scraps. So we're gonna use, we're gonna make a ponytail holder and um, uh, I'm gonna use my mini, oh, there's my mini bodabra. So I have all of these ribbons that kind of mix and match and I don't wanna forget my bodabra bow wire. Charlena, thank you. And Marlis, thank you for watching. And Edna, thank you so much for saying it was cute. So you guys, if you're watching the replay or you just tuned in, we're going to be giving away a free roll of scrunchie ribbon at the end of today's live. And I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. So I'm just taking my Bodabra bow wire and just tucking it underneath my mini Bodabra. And then I have all these pieces of ribbon that are about uh, three eighths of an inch by nine inches. And I'm just gonna mix and match, laying the different colors into my Bodabra. So this will be like a really cute little ponytail holder. So we've got some grow green and then my pink and then this pretty pink. And then we're gonna lay the grow green with the polka dots and just take a few more pieces. So this is a great, like I said, this is a super easy bow to make and I'll make sure I put that right side up and then just lay this last piece. And then I have this piece of my grow grain that's 16 inches long. And, and again, it's three eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna fold it in half and just lay that into my mini Bodabra. Then I'm gonna bring this around here and again, take the right side and put it down, upside down into my mini. Then I'm gonna fold this back over and I'm gonna make an X, take the right side of this ribbon and put that down into my mini Bodabra. Then take the bottom one. Now this is this bow that I'm making right now is exactly how you make a boutique bow. So all I'm doing is combining two different styles. And then just take my wand, give everything a little scrunch. And now I'll pull it through the slip knot, pull it tight, but still in my mini Bodabra. Oh, thanks for the love and the likes and the hearts. I love it, you guys. Bring it around to the back. Oh, and then also, and I'm gonna tie a knot here. And then I'm gonna double knot it. And I'm gonna grab a ponytail holder and tie it through my ponytail holder. And again, knot and double knot. And Oh, Edna, thank you. I try to make it as easy as possible to follow. Um, and so now I'm just going to take my little bow and then just shape all of these cute little ribbons. So they're sort of like little um, spirals. So it would go on your in your hair like that. And then all the little cute little ends. Jeannie, thank you for loving this. Um, so anyway, we will be picking the winner really soon. I cannot believe we're getting through this out, this half hour so fast. So before we finish, I'm going to take, um, another ribbon that I made by taking the piece ribbon, using the peel and stick, like I did at the beginning and putting it on the grow grain. And so, um, I've got here, I have, um, four, 13 and a half inches. And I'm just going to, oh, and then here I have um, 18 inches. So all I'm gonna do here is take the right side and put it upside down into my Bodabra, and this will be my tail, and just lay this down. And what am I doing? I, I'm putting it this way, <laughs> you guys. And I need wire. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot my wire again. Two times in one show. Um, Cindy Allison is our window winner. Congratulations, Cindy. Please PM Bodabra with your email address. I mean, not your email address, your mailing address. And so now I'm gonna fold that in half and lay this down as my tails. And then I'm just gonna make a cute little bow. And again, what I'm gonna do, and this is really cool for keeping um, everything going right side up in the same direction. So I'm gonna take it in that direction, put the right side of my ribbon down, 
bring it back around and again take the right side of the ribbon and put that down into my modabra and then go down where do you middle. peel and stick the peel and stick um terry can you put that link up there for me and now i'll pull this through pull it tight well it's still in my bodabra i'm going to separate the ends bring them around to the back and tie a knot and double knot it so we can put this onto a ponytail holder and i like having especially for a little young lady with long hair i like having the really long tails so i think it makes it really um pretty and so simple to make now i think we have time for one more so i'm going to make one more bow before stopping and next week um what did i do with the one that i wanted to make um okay here we go so now we're going to make a flower hair bow so i have this these really cool um these uh, alligator clips, I buy them already with grow grain on them, so I don't have to go through the work of putting the grow grain on. And then I'm gonna make a little flower. So um, with these flowers, I'm gonna put these two aside, I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire and I'm gonna just fold it in half and clip the ends. And just for those of you, next week, I think I'm going to do tuck them underneath. And then these, I believe, are five inches long. And I've just cut them at an angle as a point because these are going to be my leaves. And Divi has just joined us and is talking. So now I'm going to put this down in here and scrunch that in and take my third one and lay that in. And then, so those will be the leaves of my flower hair bow. Um, these are uh, three and a half inches. And what I've done is cut these in the shape of a petal. So they're curved. And I'm just gonna lay these two pieces in here. Yes, Vivi, we hear you. And then I have these two little, they're literally just scraps and I curved the ends. They're about two inches. And just gonna put those down in the center. Cool. We didn't know they they came already wrapped. Oh, I know. That was the best find I ever ever found was to find them wrapped already. And I think we have a link that um, we'll put up. And so now I'm just gonna scrunch everything in and at Vivi, we hear you. And then um, I'm gonna now just take this my wire, pull it up. Pull it really tight while it's still in the bodabra. Pull it out, separate the ends. And you guys, if there are any links that you didn't see here, please email me. My email address is bodabra at me.com. So you can just email me directly if there are any links that you want. So now I'm just gonna tie a knot there and I'm gonna shape out my flower and Kind of shape it here and you can i use also i didn't mention but i do use wired ribbon for the flowers and the petals because it makes it easier to make the flower and i'm even going to have my little rose in the middle and then take my hair clip and i'm just going to tie put the top of the clip against the bodabra i mean not the bodabra the bow and then I'm just going to bring this around. Now you could just glue it on, but if you want to just use the wire and then just wrap this around here. And I can clip, oh, let me just tie a knot because that'll give it a little extra security. Tie a knot there, bring it around and tie it here. And then that's pretty much going to hold. So I'm just going to clip the ends and you have a really cute little hair bow that looks like a flower. Isn't that pretty, Edna? Thank you. I love making flowers in Bodabra and come the holiday time, we're going to be making lots of flowers, poinsettias, everything. 
So I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do next week, but I'm definitely gonna have some wreath bows in the lie. So if you are ready to start decorating for fall and wreaths and home decor, please join me. And also please share this video um, with anybody you know who wants to know how to make hair bows. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye.